the rapidly strengthening reverberations of infrasound resonance being experienced all over the planet and throughout our entire solar system are due to the close pass of the Sun's binary twin, an invisible brown dwarf companion star. So where exactly is this ethereal brown dwarf companion? Information on this enigmatic subject was provided to an extraterrestrial contactee in South Africa decades ago. We first heard about Sola Kananda approaching our solar system in 1973. Sola Kananda means a sun that has not yet flared or blazed, we are told. It is approaching from the constellation of Cancer. This locator reference for the brown dwarf as approaching the solar system from the region of Cancer suggests its point of periapsis with the sun will occur while passing through the constellation of Leo. This basic brown star locator information also provides an intriguing explanation for the most powerful solar event and geomagnetic storm ever witnessed by astronomers of our time, known as the Carrington event of September 2nd, 1859. While many researchers acknowledge the planetary alignment as playing a major causative role in the solar eruption, the surprising magnitude of the event is the direct result of the additional alignment of the brown dwarf star that has gone entirely unnoticed. The invisible presence of the brown dwarf companion star at the edge of the known solar system in the region of Leo is the only explanation for the unmatched intensity of the Carrington event and offers a profound insight into the timing of the oncoming magnetic reversal of our Sun and all its orbiting planets. As prophesied by many ancient sources, humanity will soon witness the unprecedented conjunction of the majority of the bodies in our solar system. On December 18th to 21st, 2015, Neptune, Ceres, Mercury, the Sun, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter will perfectly align with the brown dwarf solar companion. The Saturn-Sun axis will be perpendicular to the main alignment, which passes close by the Earth as well. The height of this major planetary and solar conjunction will be marked by dramatic changes during the rapid process of system-wide magnetic reversal, likely fulfilling the biblical prophecy of the extended period of judgment in total darkness without temporal reference. Quote, you will not know the hour or the day. End quote. Astronomical data for December 18th to the 21st, 2015 clearly supports this statement, suggesting the sun will be dark for the period of three days prior to an ignition discharge that will convert the now invisible brown dwarf binary solar companion into a resplendent red dwarf on December 22nd, 2015. Fascinating details regarding the shift of the ages were revealed by extraterrestrial visitors decades ago. In 1968, a young radio electrical engineer living in Richards Bay, South Africa, alias F. Edwin W., received radio transmissions from a cosmonaut in Earth orbit named Valdar from the planet Koldas. Then another aspect of this conditioning program emerged when the discussion turned to the enigmatic subject called the New Age. Valdar said, one has to be conditioned to accept the new age. In the ancient scriptures of the Confederation, it is written that the Divine One will change many planets. A voice tells us that there will be a change. The timing of the event will depend on many circumstances. It might be caused by the separation of the two universes, resulting in a complete break in the magnetic field between them. This event may bring about changes which would gradually usher in a new age. There might be a change in the atomic structure. Every atomic power station would then cease to function, and even your electrical power would stop. But a new source of energy will then be available. Your physical world would undergo a transformation, a cleansing of the earth. Then the resurrection would follow in the still of the night. This transformation would be almost instantaneous. Even the heavens would change color. Mankind will be afraid, but a great uplifting will follow. There will be regeneration. For example, those of 90 years age will be as 50, and those of you who are 50 will be as 30. Let us wait and see. There are still many things that even the Confederation is uncertain of. Changes can be observed and data analyzed, but only Mother Nature, the Divine One, will trigger the reaction that will change things permanently, I repeat, permanently, on Earth. Valdar's clear statements elucidate dramatic future events and subsequent major atmospheric changes involving the oncoming shift of Earth to high resonance. He foretells a physical transformation, a cleansing of the Earth in the still of the night that would be almost instantaneous. Even the heavens would change color. 
a great increase in the intensity of cosmic rays bombarding the Earth from a nearby supernova event or chain of events would re-engage the now dormant pyramids to ignite an atmospheric HHO plasma canopy with plumes arching along the pathways of Fibonacci standing waves. This process is already observable as airglow and actively pulsating auroral formations. There might be a change in the atomic structure. Every atomic power station would then cease to function, and even your electrical power would stop, but a new source of energy will then be available. Massive coronal ejections that will influence the ultra-low frequency resonance of Earth through interaction with the Giza pyramids, which transduce all solar energy into inaudible acoustic waves. This new source of energy, which is here for mankind to use on our planet, refers to these resonant infrasound standing waves that will be dramatically increasing in strength during the events of December 18th to the 21st, 2015. What unseen forces are causing this great shift? Baldar divulged the hidden presence of Sola Kananda, the brown dwarf binary companion of our sun that returns once again from the direction of cancer on its long elliptical orbit. Although the full timeline of predicted future events was explained to Edwin in detail, the public was only informed that preparations and conditioning contacts made by the Confederation on Earth are being conducted in case an emergency evacuation of Earth becomes necessary in the near future due to these cosmic changes. These changes have been comprehensively mapped as nonlinear effects of focused infrasound standing waves that are increasing in intensity with solar flare activity. When considered in the context of the near approach of an invisible embryonic sun, one may infer that the instantaneous resurrection of Earth is somehow intimately linked with the dramatic rebirth of the dormant brown dwarf star into a red dwarf. Extraterrestrial contactee information given by Valdar in Richards Bay, South Africa, in the early 1970s was not understood at the time, but was published for future reference. Today, the data closely aligns with the dramatic astronomical events and meteorological changes now taking a forceful hold of our planet. These solar events have been marked by binary cross crop circles appearing during the preparatory year of 2015, referencing both the completion of the period of the 2015 lunar eclipse tetrad and the red dwarf ignition alignment of December 2015.